How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be unlocking the Signature Series Eddie Murray. In the last video I talked a little bit about this card, I accidentally called him Eddie Murphy, so I'll try not to do that in this one. But uh, I started up a game of events, I was 10 in, uh, I think 10 and 2, and the guy just quit out. So in this one I'm just going to have some event gameplay, some games, uh, kind of a compilation into one video, talk a little bit about some people that I matched up with, talk about some games. Uh, in the very first day of the event, the first couple of games that I played, I was uh, losing a lot of them. I mean, not not losing the games, but uh, falling behind in score early on in the game, giving up a lot of runs early. And uh, luckily, I was able to hit really well and score a lot of runs on my on my own. But uh, at the same time, if that wasn't going to continue throughout the event, then I thought I was going to be in a lot of trouble because. I've been giving up a lot of runs pitching wise and uh, in this one so far I mean all the balls I've hit well have been right to somebody even the the one base hit that I had was kind of a late jammed hit something that I didn't really deserve I would have liked to get a couple guys on base I did have a couple hits in this game but uh, unfortunately I brought in Fernando Rodney I left him in for one too many pitches and the opponent hits it out I had a lefty to go to in the bullpen just not the best manageable game I didn't really manage this one that great but we do have a chance to come back. We are in the top of the third inning. I've been able to do so in all of these games pretty much. I'm at about 10 and two record so far and uh, with that 11th win being the quit. So 11 and two record and both of the games that I've lost have been really close. I had an opportunity to win both of them. But uh, so far in this one, I am unable to capitalize on a pitch over the middle of the plate. I talked a little bit about it in my previous uh, event video waiting for something over the middle when you're playing on all-star difficulty. Right there, I just missed a curveball over the middle of the plate. He brought in the uh, the brand new Steven Strasburg, so that was pretty cool to face him. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the win in the first game, but let's go ahead and hop into another game. This opponent actually sent me a friend request and a message, I, I believe, after we played. So started off with another line drive right to the left fielder, a line out, and I just noticed that a lot of these pitches that I was hitting were just going right to the fielders on the previous day. Uh, some of these hits were home runs, some of them were doubles, extra base hits, you just never know. So you have to try and continue to square the ball up well. And uh, right now I have a common pitcher in, Anthony Banda, and he's going to go ahead and knock a base hit with Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger has been playing down on inside edge, but uh, he's always really good against lefties. I figured I would leave the common in against the lefty, try and play the matchup anyway. It didn't really work out in my favor. But uh, this opponent is a is a Rays fan, as you can see from his uniform. So I'm not sure why we're playing in uh, Toronto. But I, I'm not really a big fan of this field simply because the ball doesn't really carry that much in this one. But I'm trying to uh, throw the slurve with this Goose Gossage, mix in the change up every now and then. I noticed that uh, he was fouling off a lot of pitches. He was on a lot of off speed as well as the fastball. I tried to throw it inside. He turned on it, hit a foul. So I'm trying to go with the pitch out of the zone, trying to get my opponents to chase as much as possible in these events, simply because it is easy to hit on all-star difficulty. It's much tougher to pitch after this patch, I would say, uh, no matter what. But uh, anyway, I have a situation here where Eddie Matthews sends one up the middle, and I'm trying to be aggressive. I'm trying to get this Eddie Murray. I'm trying to get the wins as fast as possible and move the runners over. And luckily, Russell Martin, I'm debuting this card. This is a signature series, Russell Martin. I recently picked him up, and he goes deep in Toronto. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, slider over the middle of the plate, squared it up and hit it well. His opponent definitely had some good hits in this game, just didn't get rewarded. Some of his uh, hits were, were pop flies to the outfield that I thought had a chance of dropping like that last one, but uh, just was slightly off the ball, similar to how I was in the first game. It happens. It happens to everybody that plays this game. And uh, so far, we just have to clutch this one out, close it out, try and get a couple insurance runs here. And uh, we go deep with Jock Peterson. This card has been an amazing leadoff hitter. When I first got this card, I kind of struggled with him. His swing was a little bit different for me than what I was used to. And I just had a tough time squaring the ball up. In this event, though, him and Matt Kemp have probably been my two best hitters uh, throughout. And along with Max Muncy, I would say Max Muncy has also been a really good infielder for me. He's up at the plate right now. This last uh, good squared up was a nice hit. Here's an early early home run, no doubter. So a little bit of a different variation in the hitting in the hitting engine and hitting display in this video. Some of the good squared up hits were resulted in outs. Some of the different swings I had resulted in hits. So let's go ahead and uh, hop into another one. We were able to score a couple runs there in the last one. And I kind of started to get a little bit warmed up at the plate. Uh, sometimes when I play online, right when I hop into a game, 
the first couple of innings, I do struggle. I'm slightly off the ball. It takes me a little bit to get used to the timing to uh, consistently hit the ball well. And it seemed like in the last one, I started to get something going. In this one, it continued on. I was able to hit a base hit up the middle that resulted in an error, allowing me to get to second. Matt Kemp up at the plate, and also I was getting pitches over the middle of the plate and, and squaring them up. I wasn't missing them like I was earlier. Sometimes it takes uh, just a few at-bats at in order to get that going for you. But once again, Max Muncy is going to take an early swing on a curveball, low in the zone, and he smacks out another home run. Wasn't a no-doubter, but uh, playing at Coors Field, the ball will carry. Later on in the game, I pinch hit Travis Darno since I he really hits lefties well, and I'm using that Russell Martin. I figured I would go to Travis Darno off the bench against the lefty. He hits a no doubter there. He had gave me an opportunity to come back in the one game that I did lose in this video, but uh, at the very beginning there in that last one. But anyway, Jock Peterson is able to. Uh, Go deep, expanding the lead. Lefty-lefty crime. Doesn't matter. He has 123 power against lefties. You actually go back-to-back-to-back to back to back home runs. I did this in the Ted Williams gameplay as well. But that game was on uh, Hall of Fame. In the events, it's really nice to hit the ball well and get rewarded that way. In the first one, I didn't really feel like I got rewarded. Consistently lost by one swing of the bat. But at the same time, I did have an opportunity. And I don't want to be able to... Uh, Ca uh, I guess give away those opportunities. I want to be able to cash in and score some runs. And there I thought I was, that one was down. I thought that was off the wall, a double. I had an opportunity in this one as well. And uh, so far, not so good. I've been able to hit the ball all right in this first inning. But going up against a good opponent, this guy had a great record, 200-something wins, 100-something losses. So he's played a lot of games. Anytime you go up against a player with this many games, you know it's going to be a tough game. But uh, kind of fast forward a little bit. This game got kind of crazy. We're in the top of the fourth inning. I had an opportunity to walk it off. I did not, and the opponent capitalized on a mistake. I left in Johnny Venters against Matt Kemp. Went with the first pitch slurred. I wasn't even trying to throw him a strike. I hung the pitch. And uh, he sent it out. But we do have a chance to come back. Uh, I pinch hit Travis Darno for Max Muncy in this situation. Even though I was hitting really well with that Max Muncy, I had to play the matchup. I felt like I needed to get something going. I already had one down in the inning, down to my last couple of outs. I was able to get a nice late base hit with, with Russell Martin and score uh, the pinch runner Billy Hamilton for uh, that Travis Darno. But I'm left without a second baseman. I didn't put any extra guys on my uh, roster. And that's my fault. I, it's going to cost me in this one. I noticed when you play some players out of position, uh, some other guys in the field react a little bit differently. As you see there, Didi Gregorius uh, didn't really make a play on that relay, as well as Matt Kemp didn't really make a play on the ball. But here's where it's really going to come back to haunt me. I had a tailor-made double play ball. Could be easily out of the inning. He goes ahead and scores a couple runs. Then he... Uh, Lays down a drag bunt here with Lou Brock, and I'm unable to even pick the ball up with uh, with the Raldis Chapman. He gets all the way to third base. Nobody's even covering the bag. So this game got kind of out of hand. He scored a couple runs in that last one, five runs. But we still have a chance to come back. No lead is safe in MLB The Show 19. And the way I've been playing in this event, I might as well just play the, the last three outs. I might as well try and make the comeback, work on it as practice. Uh, it really stinks when you line out and you have something potentially going i know you're going to say like yeah he only has uh one, two outs remaining he's down by four runs what are the opportunity like what are the chances that he's going to actually have a shot to come back but right there as you can see both of the outs so far have been line drives out one was robbed at the track and then uh one to center field i also got rewarded with a late base hit so that's nice to get rewarded on something like that but i would rather have that be the only out of the inning and then the other ones be base hits so i have an opportunity to come back in the game that would be ideal of course but uh, at the same time we still have a shot I got a nice base hit a double into the gap we have an opportunity to uh, walk the game off if we can get someone on base or drive in a run here get something going I have Byron Buxton coming in for Billy Hamilton just because he's a better hitter I, I played a matchup of where I wanted to use these guys to lower my team overall and it turned out I needed them in this situation I wasn't expecting to give up five runs in an extra inning game but that is what it is Tried to get a check swing on the first pitch, but Byron Buxton is smacking one through the left side there. Not going to be aggressive. I'm going to try and uh, keep the runners where they are. I have Eddie Matthews coming up to the plate. A great chance to tie the game up. And uh, we also have some good speed on first. So I'm going to try to get him in scoring position, but I'm not going to try and do anything dumb. I missed that pitch right there. A sinker low and away. 
and uh, one on one count facing the Raleigh Fingers. I'm not sure if this is the signature series Raleigh, but he throws one in the dirt. I'm trying to send the runner only to second base, and Matt Kemp takes off for home plate. I lost that one, but I was able to get to 15 wins. I didn't want to include all of the gameplay. Just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some stuff that happened somehow, or basically how the games went. I wanted to include the L's that I took. I think I finished about 15 and three, 15 and four. And for how the games played, uh, for how I played in this event, it was nice to get those wins and only have three losses, if that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm College Lefty, and have a great day. Peace out.